the birth of the universe or the death of another. 13.8 billion years ago, something happened. We call it the Big Bang, a searing flash when space and time themselves erupted from a single point. But modern cosmology quietly admits this wasn't the beginning of everything, it was the start of expansion. Before that fiery instant, there may have been an age of inflation, a silent prelude where the universe existed as pure potential. What came before? Well, no one knows. Maybe nothing, maybe everything. Physicist Nikodem Poplowski offered a bold answer. He proposed that every black hole could create a new universe within its depths. Matter falling into one doesn't disappear. It compresses, rebounds, and tunnels through a kind of space-time gateway. On the far side, a new cosmos explodes outward, its own Big Bang. Think of the event horizon, that invisible boundary where even light gives up. Not as an ending, but as a chrysalis. A star collapses, gravity rips space-time, and instead of oblivion, a universe hatches. Einstein's equations actually allow for this. General relativity predicts white holes, theoretical opposites of black holes, regions where matter rushes out instead of in. In Poplowski's math, the singularity inside one universe could be the white hole birth of another. So, when we look at the Big Bang, maybe we're really seeing a kind of cosmic relay, one universe handing the torch of existence to the next, each collapse birthing expansion, each ending planting the seed of another dawn. It's a haunting symmetry, life and death written not in biology, but in space-time itself.